Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Apptrepreneur. Welcome to my media channel. So you're not going to see me very much, but I'm at a friend's house. When I saw this, I actually told him, uh, we have to make a video about this right now. And he's prop now standing there just looking at me like thinking, <laughs> oh God, he was actually serious. But this, I never thought I would see this in person. This is Warriors of the Wind. Not on VHS. This is Betamax. And no, for all you kids out there, I'm not explaining what... Betamax is. That's what Wikipedia is for. You can do your own homework. Plus, if you're watching this channel, you probably already know. Now, what you might not know is like, so what is Warriors of the Wind? You're looking at this thing and it's like, so it looks like Tremors, He-Man, Star Wars. What is it? Well, let's turn this around quick and look a little bit more familiar. Yeah, it's Nausicaa. This was the very first release of Nausicaa that came to America by New World Video and Corman. and Roger Corman <laughs> as my friend he's going to be giving me commentary <laughs> on this and the funny thing about this is they they dubbed it poorly they cut a lot of stuff out this version was so bad that this this here is the reason why we did not get Studio Ghibli films for years but Oh my gosh, so this thing is super, now let's, let's just take it out real quick, quick, and oh, look, it, this is so old, like, join the New World Video Club, pop out the profit token, and stick it to your membership card, <laughs> on the, <laughs> I'm laughing because this is so old, on the colored circles, and get ready to reap some big money benefits, no glue needed, and I'm, I'm actually, I'm more impressed that this is still there. So let's continue taking this out, show you what this, I'm being as careful as I can. So that's the very low budget, no name studio label. <laughs> and yeah, that's a, but it's so funny. Oh my gosh. It's like, this is like the biggest piece of garbage treasure I've ever <laughs> held because this truly is a bad version of the movie. You could probably... Find it on YouTube or a BitTorrent site. Anyway, I'm going to tell tell us, how did you come across I, this? I bought this, like, on eBay. How much did you pay for it that? Was not, it was $25. $25, that's actually a good price. That's what I thought. I, I have a Betamax player if I wanted to watch it, but once I got it and it had the little sticker, I was like, well, I'm not going to watch that. I'm just going to set that somewhere and look at it occasionally. Because Nausicaa is probably my favorite Miyazaki movie, but... Now I have the bad version. <laughs> well, have you ever seen the bad version? I have not watched it. Um, June Forway as Nausicaa. Uh, Rocket J. Squirrel. <laughs> I don't want to watch it now. <laughs> I, mean, I uh, always loved it on the cover, though, that they're like, look, it's a movie, it's got this guy, and it's got this cool, young, awesome guy, and then there's like, yep. oh, you know, there's some lady in the corner, and they, they yeah, blew her up there. By the way, folks, almost none of this happens in the movie. Yeah. Like, the monsters kind of look like that but that's obviously modeled after yeah, well, Tremors. this one is this one yeah it, and this movie came out in 80 84 i yep, think it looks like skeletor right here yeah that guy's not in the movie by the way look there's nausicaa and they animated her as having long blonde hair yeah, and relegated and then there's a guy with a rifle and a, a horse i don't even think there was a horse like yeah, that in the that's movie. not in the movie this no. isn't the movie that guy's not in the movie although you could say he's a different character that made him look different that person is definitely yeah. not in the movie and of course this this was like a typical 80s problem. They tried to make it look like guys were the heroes. No, no, this is the yep. main character. And they gave him a lightsaber. Yeah, a lightsaber because, you know, Star Wars was cool <laughs> at the time. But yeah, so, yeah, I thought this was very neat. Yeah, so oh, I got to do this for the final shot. So this one's not going to be edited very carefully. But uh, <laughs> in fact, we're probably just going to do it as is. So forgive the real awkwardness. But there it is. Warriors of the Wind, the original <laughs> original release of Nausicaa. And again, this prevented Studio Ghibli from coming to America for years. I mean, he did make an exception for My Neighbor Totoro was Fox, but after that, I think it took until like 1996 before Kiki's Delivery Service finally came to America. Okay. So, so yeah, no, this is a... Uh, man, and this is a... This is also... One of the days we might have to do like a tour room of this because you've got the uh, man cave theme going. But yeah... <laughs> Uh, by the way, folks, if you find this for, like, less than $30, um, yeah, maybe you could get it then or for collectible. But um, don't 
don't spend an exorbitant <laughs> yeah, no, amount of money for this. It. Would, it's, I, it's, it's very it's, specifically was like, I like Betamax tapes and this is neat. So right. If I was going to own one, this was the one. Right. But <laughs> although you would have bought it if it was if the VHS. I, yeah, no, if it was on VHS, if I found it on VHS, I would watch it. Right. Because I've got enough VCRs, it's, I would be just like, yep, I'm just going to try it. Oh, and she's Princess Xandra in it. Yep. I read the back and I was like, this is the worst sounding version of this movie. Oh, oh, it is. Miyazaki saw that, and again, like, he was not happy, but, uh, in some ways, I'm kind of glad he did, because he might have been licensing his movies, not realizing the yeah, damage just willy-nilly. that was being done to his legacy here. Yeah, that's so funny. His yeah. name's not even on the cover anywhere, because it doesn't even matter to them. No, I, yeah, I think they're downplaying the fact that it's a Japanese movie. Yeah, oh, they're totally downplaying yeah, the fact. Like, no. Because I remember, like, renting a bunch of, you know, anime movies back then, and they... And they had, like, American covers, but you'd watch it, and it looked nothing like yeah. the case. Yeah. So. Pretty funny. So, anyway, folks, that's uh, that unique little item. So, do any of you have this? We would really like to know. And what do you think of this version of Warriors of the Wind? I'd love to know. Comment below. Like, <laughs> favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one. And now we're going to stop this and have an awkward ending.